When doing your own calibration, you need to realize how the analyzer actually works. When you take an exposure reading, the analyzer calculates the exposure so that it gives an off-white result, the same as this second tile along here. When you work out the contrast, it's working out the exposure difference on the paper that creates the difference between the exposure for this tile here, which is an off-white, and this tile here, which is a very dark grey. Now, the way we do this is in two halves. We first, first of all do a simple test strip to work out what type of exposure change we need to make to the exposure calibration in the unit in order to get that grey colour. And then the second part is to do a step wedge, contact print, and basically count the number of steps between the very dark grey and the off-white, which works out the actual exposure range or contrast range of the paper. The first step is to make a test strip. On the back of a piece of photographic paper you make a memo to yourself for the paper that you're actually calibrating and the step size that's currently being used by your analyzer or zone master. You then put this photographic paper under your test switch maker and close all the fingers down. And then you take your, your meter and in darkroom conditions you stop down the enlarging lens to about f11 or f16 and take a meter reading so that you get an exposure time on the zone master analyzer of around uh, 10 to 20 seconds. Having done that, you then make a simple test strip. And you make the test strip using either incremental or separate so that you have a range of exposures ranging from minus three steps all the way through to plus three steps with the meter reading in the middle. And on this particular sheet I've marked up all the steps. Now these are in quarter of a stop steps so you need to convert these into twelfths when you do your calibration. So each of these is multiplied by three to get to the number of twelfths of a step. Now, what you're looking for is a match between one of these greys and the middle tile of our reference. And so you hold your reference up and you look for something that's the closest to your reference grey. And having decided that, you then take a note of how many steps you've got and therefore how many twelfths. In this case, plus one would be plus a quarter of a stop is three twelfths of a stop, and that will be the difference for the current exposure setting in the analyzer or zone master. So this is not the absolute number, but this is what you change it by. Let me show you. Here's a chart that shows the different grade settings and the number of steps required to make the right level light grey, and the number of steps in twelfths. So these are the this is the change that you'll put into the calibration memory against each of the grades. And I'll show you this quickly on a zone master. If we take the analyzer into calibration mode, and the first setting that's already in the unit was plus three, and my test strip says it should be minus three, then obviously I've got to reduce it by minus three. For the next grade, grade zero, mine was six out, so I need to reduce it by six. So go up a grade. So it was five, I now need to reduce it to minus one to make that correct, and so on. This has got to be nine less, so this is going to be minus five and so on. So these calibrations are a variance on what's already in the unit at the time that you make the exposure for the test strip. Okay, I'm just going to clear all those out and come out of the, the mode. For the next part you need to get your step wedge and you need to contact print it 
onto your photographic paper with um, the grade setting that you're calibrating. So you need to repeat this seven times for all the grades from 00, zero through to 5 on your enlarger, either using the color head or using underlens filters. And what you'll get is a series of prints. And it doesn't really matter what the exposure time is as long as you have everything from full black through to full white. And what you're now going to do is against all the numbered positions along the top you're going to see which one corresponds to the pale grey and which one corresponds to the dark grey on this test print. And once you've done that you, you count the steps in between and that tells you what contrast setting the paper's actually got. So for instance, um, these are in half stop steps and for each half stop step that is 15 ISO units. And just in the same way as we did with the um, exposure offsets, you count the number of steps and you multiply the number of steps by 15 and that gives you the actual contrast setting for the paper. And these are the numbers that you put into the analyzer or zone master. But in this case, these are absolute numbers. And you, you actually put this number in so that when you look at the setting on the calibration, it's actually set to 180. So with the analyzer, if I go into Cal mode, and then move to contrast setting, The first is set to 179 and I need to set it to 180. So I increase it by 1 and then move on to the next. So the next grade is grade 0 and this one it should be set to 150 so I need to increase it and then to the next grade and so on. So this should be 127 next grade. And once I've completed that, I then press either the focus button or in the case of the zone master, the time button, and that stores it and comes out.